Okay, so the biggest challenge with reading comp is we have a game diagram here. Uh, I think, in my mind, is that when people read passages, when people read passages and they're done reading the passage and you ask them, did you understand that passage? Any guess what percentage of people say yes? Who knows? Maybe it's like, let's assume for a second that it's 75% of people who read these passages say, yes, I understood. What percentage of them do you think actually understood? Probably like half. Yeah. It's lower. I don't know what it is, but it's lower. Right? Have you ever had this in your life where you're like at work and you're like, okay, hey, Joe, will you please do this? And they're like, yes, I'll do that. And you're like, okay, does that make sense? That's the question you have. Does that make sense? And what do they say? Yes. And then two hours later, they like send you the email and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> right? Like, I asked you to do Y. I said, does this make sense? And you said yes. And then you gave me Z. And Joe's like, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't know why you get so uptight. And you're like, because you don't understand me. Right? Well, that's what's happening with these passages. They're writing things to you. You're reading it and you're going, yeah, okay, cool. And then you read the questions and you're like, oh shoot, like, is it this one or is it that one? Or worse, right, you pick B, you're like, yep, B. And then it's like, nope, it was C. So uh, this is a constant struggle. And when I'm tutoring people one-on-one, -on -one, I always have them read the passage and then I say, okay, tell me what the main point is. <laughs> and it's always like, close. It's like, yeah, yeah, wait, but why did you emphasize that as opposed to this other thing? Or why did you say this one word? It's like you left something out or you gave too much emphasis to this one thing. So um, the only way to really get good at reading comp is to, one, do these passages every day, and then when you get questions wrong, use that as a flag. Okay, I didn't understand something. I thought I did, or maybe you realized you didn't, but you thought you did, and it's tell the test is telling you there's something you didn't understand. And then going back and trying to think about what you missed um, as you were reading. Now, that's itself a little tricky, but it requires some <coughs> investigation. One thing that I would do as I practice these passages is I would suggest reading the passage and constantly asking yourself, okay, do I, does what the author, is what the author saying right now make sense to me given what I know about the world already? And if it doesn't make sense, try to add that knowledge that you're now receiving from the passage to your understanding of the world. Try to fit it into something. You know, people say that um, you don't have to know the things that they're talking about to do well in reading comp, and that is true <coughs> on some level, because all the answers, all the correct answers, are in the passage. But it helps a lot to have some awareness of what they're talking about, right? Because you can take the information that they're giving you and somewhat relate to it, and like, put it into your catalog of knowledge and say, okay, yeah, yeah, that's kind of making sense to me. Uh, in any case, so just constantly checking in and being like, okay, do I think I'm following this person, right? Like when you're talking to someone at work and they're telling you something and there's that moment where you start to like lose them, but you say, wait, wait, hold up. I I'm not totally following you. Or you just keep listening. Uh, you, you want to catch yourself and say, okay, wait, hold up, I'm not totally getting it, and just go back, and sometimes it's just clarifying things. Um, and constantly have in the back of your mind, what's the main point? Like, what are you trying to tell me, and how does that fit into my understanding of the world? And do you agree or disagree with this person? If you agree or disagree with them, you're more likely to be engaged, right? Like, if you're constantly checking that. Like, do I think this person is right about the world? We don't actually care about that in reading comp. Like, in logical reasoning, you care a lot about whether the arguments make sense or not. In reading comp, you don't care about that as much. It's more about what was said or what wasn't said. But if, as you read the passage, you ask yourself, do I agree or disagree with this person? You're more likely to remember what was said and therefore be able to answer the questions.
So, anyways, bottom line, as you're reading these passages, ask yourself, okay, does this make sense to me? Do I agree or disagree with this person? Um, what is it that they're trying to prove to me? And then, as you go into the questions, I think you're more likely to remember the answer. Good luck, and every time you get one wrong, it's okay. Just see what word you might have missed. Um, let's.